Did you know a Stranger Things cast member had a whole Broadway career before landing a leading role? And which Julie and the Phantoms cast member was selected among 1,000 potentials because of their voice? Let's see which actors have a sneaky hidden talent. Charlie Gillespie. Miner's lady, stranger to blue water. When Kenny Ortega decided to create Julie and the Phantoms, he wasn't just looking for a supremely talented leading lady like Madison Reyes. He needed someone to play her love interest, Luke. That's where Charlie Gillespie stepped in. Gillespie has a really long history with music that goes right back to his early days growing up in Dieppe, Canada. Charlie used to play with his siblings in a band his mom dubbed the Gillespie Five. Clearly, that hard work paid off, as he's now in one of the biggest musical shows out there. Just like people thought Madison may not be singing in the show, people also thought that Charlie must have been dubbed over. But nope, he's a guitar-playing, singing genius. Even when he's not joining Madison Reyes in a duet on the show, he's goofing around and singing ABBA hits like in this clip. Mama, just how much I missed you. Yes, I've been broken hearted. In fact, hardly a day goes by when Charlie isn't entertaining everyone on set with his voice. Since Charlie has only been active in the industry for about six years, he's still got loads more to give. He's already snatched our hearts as Luke, but we'd love to see more of what he's capable of as Charlie. Gaten Matarazzo. What's the first thing that springs to mind when we think of Gaten Matarazzo? Well, it's not his incredible singing voice, that's for sure. Gaten is an incredible actor, and Stranger Things just wouldn't be the same without him. But did you know that he had a whole career before landing the part of Dustin in the Duffer Brothers series? Prior to becoming a Netflix star, Gaten had roles on Broadway in some of the biggest musicals on the planet. He played Benjamin in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and Gavroche in Les Miserables. When it comes to show tunes, Gaten knocks it out of the park every single time. Even though he's really busy these days being a superstar in a supremely popular series, Gaten still takes time to sing when he's asked, and it always goes down a storm. I got all my sisters with me. Hey, hey, hey. We are family! In the past couple of years, the young star has also had roles on the stage in Cinderella and Into the Woods. Music really is his first love, but it hasn't always been easy for him. Gaten has CCD, a condition that affects his teeth and bones, causing him to have extra teeth. 14 of these were removed, but he's been super open about the process, even documenting the removal on Instagram. We love that Gaten is so willing to put himself out there and let others know that you can overcome tough times and do what you set your mind to. Lily Reinhardt As one of the main stars in the hit series Riverdale, it's pretty obvious that Lily Reinhardt is beyond gifted. As Betty, she's shown us over and over again that she can do dramatic and funny, but as Lily, well, it doesn't stop there. Not only has the 24-year-old released her own book of poetry, but she's an incredible singer, too. Lily has shared snippets of her hidden talent with her fans on a few occasions, including this dreamy version of Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. Not only can Lily do spellbinding tracks like that, but she isn't afraid to bust out a show tune or two. Just check out this clip of Lily when she was younger singing On My Own from the musical Les Miserables. Of course, producers of Riverdale love to sneak in the odd musical episode, and while some of the other actors struggle a little to carry a tune, Lily puts them all to shame. Lily's singing videos have a whole fan base of their own, and fans are always desperate to see more of this side of her. Reinhardt is a really creative person, and as much as she loves writing and acting, she really comes alive when she's singing. She's openly said that her musical scenes on Riverdale are some of her favorites. Amelia Clark. She got so many names. I'm queen of the Andals, queen of the marine. Yeah, you can kiss me sandals. Amelia Clark, mother of dragons, breaker of chains, and incredible singer? Okay then. Then. Amelia put it best when she told Entertainment Tonight, I don't do my own stunts, but I do my own singing. Back in 2015, she teamed up with Britain's Red Nose Day to star in a skit about a Game of Thrones musical with Coldplay star Chris Martin. 
While it was just a joke, fans couldn't help but notice that Amelia really could sing. We got a real taste of what she can do with a mic a few years later when she starred in the holiday movie Last Christmas. She sang the hit Wham! track while dressed in tinsel. What's not to love? Was it cheesy? Absolutely. But who doesn't want to see a Khaleesi owning the stage? Now I know what a fool I've been, but if you kiss me now, I know you fool me again. Back in 2013, Amelia also contributed to the soundtrack for the movie Dom Hemingway by covering the song Fisherman's Blues by the Waterboys. Danny may have never made it to the Iron Throne, but Amelia is practically entertainment royalty at this point. Don't be surprised if you hear more of her voice moving forward. She's clearly got away with music. Amelia isn't scared to sing in interviews either, if this clip is anything to go by. Sing, the day to the night, for Davin and I. Madison Reyes. In case you didn't know already, there's a new teen star in town, and it's Madison Reyes. The talented actress is a triple threat. She can dance, she can act, and most importantly, she can really sing. It's not unusual for Kenny Ortega to pick out unknown talent. In fact, he's kind of known for it. So when he chose 14-year-old Reyes out of over 1,000 potentials to play the part of Julie in Julie and the Phantoms, we knew she had to be good. We just didn't realize how good. There are still some people out there that don't know that Madison sings all of her own songs in the show. There's no shady voice dubbing going on there. What's more, Madison went on to a performing arts school, so she knows how to play instruments and write her own songs. One of the best tracks in season one of Julie and the Phantoms is Perfect Harmony. Perfect Harmony. Amazingly, Reyes and her co-star Charlie Gillespie created the entire thing themselves. Now, that's not something you see every day. Even in Kenny Ortega's other hit movies like Descendants and High School Musical, the stars didn't have that much creative input. You can tell that Madison really, really loves music. She's always hopping onto social media and singing, like in this sweet TikTok clip where she does a little duet with Charlie. Life can be so mean, but when he goes, I know it doesn't leave. Tom Hiddleston. There are two types of people in the world, those that drool over Loki and those that drool over Thor. We are firmly Team Loki. Tom Hiddleston is way more than his Marvel character, though. He's a really accomplished actor, having starred in the biopic of Hank Williams, I Saw the Light. The actor could have easily asked producers to dub his voice, but he sang all of the songs, and he nailed it. Lord, I don't know what I'll do. All I do is set it wasn't an easy road, though. While Tom could already sing, he had to train himself to get into the same country style that Hank had. Back in 2013, during a visit to South Korea, Tom treated the audience to a version of Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Unfortunately, he didn't quite hit the right notes, but maybe he was having an off day. The following year, Tom showcased his vocal talents again when he voiced a pirate character in the animated movie Tinkerbell and the Pirate Fairy. When he really puts his mind to it, Tom can really knock the socks off a crowd, and we are here for it every step of the way. What's next? A Loki record featuring the Hulk on back vocals? Yes, please. Chris Evans. If we ever needed proof that Chris Evans is more than just America's ass, here it is. Okay, let's start this by saying that yes, we know Chris isn't about to win any Grammys with his vocal talent, but this guy has some serious potential. We got a little teaser of the actor's singing voice in one of his previous roles. Case in point? For a smile they can share the night, it goes on and on and on and on. Is this the greatest version of Don't Stop Believing we've ever heard? Of course not. But throw in a couple of vocal lessons and Chris wouldn't be half bad. Plus, he can play the piano too and has been known to jam with his brother Scott on more than one occasion. Just can't remember There's also this great footage that proves that trying is all that really matters. I could, I would give you the world But all I can do is just offer you my To the I, to the A, to the M 
Is it just us, or is there a definite boy band vibe going on here? Throw Chris in with the Backstreet Boys and something tells us you would have a platinum album. Still, for now at least, it's probably better if Chris sticks to action movies. We love you, Chris, but you've got a long way to go before reaching the same level as ScarJo. Not everyone can reach the same diva level, but Chris clearly has a sneaky little talent hidden in there somewhere. Who do you think has the best voice out of everyone we've seen today? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.